How on earth do you top Infinity Ward's Modern Warfare 2, one of the most successful video games of all time? That's the problem Treyarch is facing with this year's Call of Duty Black Ops. Alright. Everything is ready. Gear up, boys. Say but work, Carlos. No problem. You spend most of the game as Alex Mason, a member of the Studies and Observations Group. And Alex has definitely got himself into quite a pickle. He spends the campaign strapped to a chair, pumped full of experimental drugs, and a mystery interrogator will just not stop shouting at him. Black Ops's 15 explosive levels are actually flashbacks, triggered by the interrogator trying to unravel the mystery behind the secrets in Mason's head. Just like the player, Mason has no idea what these secrets actually are. Seven, twenty-five. Six. The globetrotting escapades take you across Cuba, Russia and Hong Kong, but it's the sections of Vietnam which are the game's most intense. Working your way through a burning Hue city, surrounded by gunfire and explosions, is absolutely a phenomenal experience, easily one of 2010's finest. If you've played a Call of Duty game before, and let's be honest, you probably have, then Black Ops' gameplay won't surprise you. If you haven't, well, all you need to know is if it can explode, then it will explode. Oh, and there are guns. Lots and lots of guns. Roger that! Not too soon! Direct fire support! And of course there's the multiplayer. Take the game online and you'll open yourself up to an incredible range of modes, maps and moans. There's always going to be some vocal 13-year-old kid who's keen to let you know his feelings. Favourites such as Team Deathmatch and Domination make their return. But there's also the new wager match mode to get stuck into. Here you try to win big by gambling the new COD points, a currency used to buy equipment and weaponry after unlocking it by levelling up, in a random 6 player free for all with novelty rules. Our favourite is Sticks and Stones, which gives you an explosive crossbow, a ballistic knife and a tomahawk. Black Ops' campaign might not have the same contemporary appeal of Modern Warfare 2's politically charged adventure, but it's certainly not without its own substantial charms. And the multiplayer is as fantastic as ever. There's plenty to enjoy here, and Treyarch has made another worthy entry in the world's most popular video game series.